UAVs can zip through the air and quickly change direction with amazing speed. But what happens to their speed if they're hit by a gust of wind? Hi, I'm Edwin. I'm a mechatronics engineering student and I've helped design a sensor to build wind-resistant UAVs. Passenger planes are covered in sensors to read the conditions around them. They work because planes fly pretty much in a straight line, but UAVs change directions so fast that these sensors won't work. So when UAVs are hit by a wind gust, they don't detect it, and they can easily be blown off course. So I had to build my own sensors, ones that were sensitive enough to measure the delicate forces acting on the rotors of a UAV. To get started, I needed a few of these. Mobile phones use tiny barometric pressure sensors to measure the atmospheric pressure and help your GPS to tell what altitude you are at. I took these sensors and covered them in a sensitive rubber material so they could pick up on the movement of rotor blades. Then I took these rubber coated sensors and I attached them to these custom cut plates. My idea was to mount these under the rotors of a UAV. When the rotors turn, air pressure tilts the blades back and forth as they rotate. This is called blade flapping. If there's a big gust of wind, the blade flapping increases. And by measuring this, a UAV could quickly detect the wind and maybe even correct its own course. But before I fitted the sensors, I needed to test them through the air. So I asked the question, how do you make a sensor fly without flying? By using this. It's called a swing arm test. The sensor and rotor are fitted to one end of this arm. When it spins around, the rushing air affects the rotor, just like it would if it was flying through the air. And by swinging the arm at different speeds, we can tell our sensor is detecting the blade flapping, picking up the changing conditions. So now it's time for a real flight, so we can collect more sensor data. Our UAV is a quad rotor, so we're going to fit four of them. Using reflective markers on the UAV with this infrared tracking system, we're able to double check the sensor results. And we saw that the infrared data matches the data from the onboard sensors. This proves that the sensors work perfectly, and it's the first step on a road to building a wind-resistant UAV. In the future, I want to use the sensors to feed this data to the flight controller in real time. This way, the UAV can make decisions about the conditions it's flying in. That means as soon as the UAV felt a gust of wind, it could react instantaneously and stay on track. 